On top of Adams Hill, on Fort Sill, Oklahoma, is at first glance what appears to be a small pond. Ponds usually occur in a low-lying area, not hilltops. A closer inspection reveals a sheen on the water surface and blackened material along the southeastern and northwestern edges. This blackened material is tar, which seeps out of three fissures and runs off into a gully towards the south. This tar was noted by explorers and early settlers and was used on wagon wheels. The Native Americans regarded it as medicine and also used it as a salve for their horses' sore backs. The source for this oil seep is probably from the Anadarko Basin. The oil or tar flows out of Garber sandstone. This type of sandstone serves as a major aquifer for central and western Oklahoma. Below the sandstone are eroded older formations, which are probably Cambrian Age Arbuckle and Timbered Hills Group Limestone. This pit is a National Historic Site and makes for an exciting field trip. And yes, this was created from the remains of animals and plants. Oh.